Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, and yeah, I'm still a bit croaky after Liverpool Regional, sorry about that, but we need to talk about the poll rates from Palde and Fates. Now, shout out before we get going here to the lovely folks over at TCG Player who have gone and put this information together. I say lots of good things about TCG Player. We use their information in a bunch of videos. It's not really somewhere I can buy from because in the UK that's just a bit awkward. But certainly in terms of using TCG Player to see what cards are generally selling for, trends and all of that good stuff, TCG Player are pretty awesome. So shout out to TCG Player. They're the lovely folks who came out with this information. Now, it's based on 1,500 packs, which is not a ridiculous sample. It is a decent sample. Obviously, it might not be absolutely perfect. They opened over 1,500 packs, and this is what they got in terms of pull rate. No one is pretending this is 100% guaranteed to be perfectly accurate. What I am telling you is, this is the best information I've been able to come across, and I don't have the time or funds right now to go and find 1,500 packs of Pound A and Fates and open them. So for that reason, yeah, we should probably use theirs. Now, starting off with Illustration Rares here, they have got Illustration Rares as a 1 in 14 packs. Or if you want a specific Illustration Rare, it's 1 in 42. Now, I really appreciate this, because I've seen lists like this in the past that have tried to differentiate pull rates of different cards of the same rarity. And as I told you in those previous videos, and go check out my videos, it's all there on tape, it made no sense. It makes absolutely no sense that you would have cards of the same rarity with different pull rates. That's ridiculous. They get printed on sheets. They will print the same amount. The pull rates will be exactly the same. That's how printing works. So this is the first time I can remember seeing a list where they go, you know what? One in 14 generally, one in 42, three times 14, if it's a specific one you want, because there are three different ones. This makes me happy. Although one in 14 seems a bit low, boo, etc. Remember, there are only three that are actually available in packs. That's your Wug Trio, your Poor Me, and your Palafin. So, yeah. Sorry about that. But look, if you want one of these open 14 packs, you should get an illustration rare. Bearing in mind, if you go and buy yourself an Elite Trainer Box, you're going to go and get nine packs. Well, that kind of tells you what you need to know. Obviously, a Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box will give you 11. But having said that, if it's one in 14, 11 booster packs still doesn't actually give you one of them. You have been warned. But these are actually a lot rarer than your shiny cards. So if you take your regular shinies, not your EXs, just your regular shinies, they come out one in four packs. But if you want a specific one, it's one in 472. Because there are, of course, many, many, many different ones out there. So, yeah. It's going to be one in 472 if you want a specific shiny card. But if you want any shiny card, it's one in four packs. Obviously, we all know by now that by far the most sought after among them is going to be your Pikachu. And then Charmander is going to be second. I showed you that when I showed you the top 10 most valuable cards the other day. And honestly, we, we could have predicted this. Pikachu, Charmander, we kind of know the deal by now at this point, don't we? That's how it works. They are always going to be the most popular, the most sought after. Phrase it how you will. They are going to be the big two. They always are. That's how we do. But also, a couple important points here. Firstly, if you buy something like an Elite Trainer Box, you should get a couple of shiny Pokemon. That's awesome. But secondly, trying to pull the specific one you want is going to be very difficult. Like, I am a big, big fan of Horlucha. And I think the Horlucha is awesome. But I'm not going to actually try and pull the whole lucha from a pack. And if I do, I'm obviously going to only build a bunch of packs very soon. If I do, brilliant. That's going to be amazing. But I'm not going to rely on that because, you know, I'm probably not going to be opening that many packs. Oh, as a side note, I am going to be opening a bunch of packs on whatnot, though. I'm going to be doing an opening. The plan currently is Friday. I'm a bit ill at the moment, so we'll have to see if Friday actually works. But my goal is to open a bunch on Friday. And we're going to be selling a bunch of packs on whatnot. We're going to be selling some singles, starting them super cheap, 
hopefully selling a bunch super cheap as well. So, yeah, join me on WhatNot. And, of course, I do have an invite code. It is whatnot.com slash invite slash the Wossie. And if you use that code, you'll get £10 credit. And I'll get a kickback. And everybody wins. And if you do want to support the channel, if you like what I do, it's a really good way to support the channel. Even if you don't want to use the invite code, even if you don't want to buy any cards, still come and hang out on Friday and make sure you follow me on WhatNot so that you know when I go live. And then we can chat about some Paday and Fates. And it's going to be kind of awesome. Now, in terms of shiny EXs, they are 1 in 13 packs or 1 in 555 if you want a specific shiny EX. These are obviously significantly harder to pull because, well, they're shiny EXs. There are significantly fewer of them. Uh, Mew and Gardevoir are generally the ones people are going to be most wanting here. For me, I like a bit of the old Powder and Clodzire, honestly. That's my boy. And my box in Japan, I pulled Squawkabilly. So I don't know, maybe I want the Squawkabilly. Maybe that's where I'm going for here. Either way, these are very cool. And they're really not that low pull rate. I mean, Shiny EX is a 1 in 13 packs. Illustration Rares are 1 in 14 packs. So actually, these are a little bit more common than your Illustration Rares. Of course, there are also a bunch more of them. Now... After that, we get to your ultra rares. Really, we're talking full art supporters here. And these are 1 in 15 for any or a specific. It says 1 in 76. But I think that's a typo. I think they mean 1 in 75. Because there are five versions of them. We got Clive, we got Judge, we got Nimona, and then we got two different Paldean students. That makes five. Five times 15 is 75. So, I refuse to believe it's 1 in 76 to get a specific one. I'm pretty sure they actually mean 1 in 75, and that's a typo. But, you know what? Yeah, that's not bad. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't really want any of these that much. Paddy and students probably the most. But, look at some of these pull rates. We've got shiny EXs, 1 in 13. Illustration rares, 1 in 14. Full art trainers or full art supporters, 1 in 15. All of these are decent pull rates, and you, you're not guaranteed to get one of each of these in, say, an Elite Trainer Box, but you shouldn't be too far away. And then we get to the big dudes. Special Illustration Rares are 1 per 58 packs, or a specific one is going to come around 1 in 465. And this, this is where you're really going to be getting the big hits from the set. And the big hits are all here. Your Mew... That, for me, is a great one. You've got the Uzgumon with the amazing artwork. Mew's great, and everyone loves Mew, and it's really playable. It's awesome. We've got Gardevoir, which I don't like as much. And it's not to say it's a bad card. It's a beautiful card. I'm just saying compared to some of the others. You've obviously got your Charizard, which for a lot of people is going to be, like, the card. And certainly, as I showed you the other day, from the early prices, this seems to be the most expensive card in the set. And then you've got the Iono, which, you know, it's Iono. Everybody loves Iono, so having that one as well in there, pretty big deal. And then Penny, who, you know, Penny's pretty cool as well. There are a couple of others. My point is, this is where the quote-unquote money cards from the set come in. This is where the big cards from the set come in. So, 1 in 58. It's a bit lower pull rate than you would like. But you know what? These are the really good trademark cards from the set. So I can kind of understand it. And then finally, your gold cards come in at 1 in 62 packs or 372 if you want a specific one. And you know what? I'm a little bit surprised about this. Because I honestly thought these were going to be a little bit more common than the special illustration rares. I thought they were going to be easier to pull. And according to TCG Player here, they're not. According to TCG Player, these are actually the rarest cards in the set. Which surprises me a little bit, frankly. They're certainly not the most valuable cards in the set, or really the most sought after. And don't get me wrong, like, Maridon is a cool card. And the gold version of Maridon is awesome, and a lot of people are going to love it. But do you want to pull gold Maridon, or do you want to pull Charizard? Or do you want to pull Iono? I know which one I want to go for. So I'm not saying the gold cards are bad by any stretch of the imagination. But I absolutely am saying they are not the most sought after cards in the set. And I really am surprised that they've apparently got slightly lower pull rates than the Special Illustration Rares. Right, that's what you need to know, ladies and gentlemen. 
and now it's over to you guys. One more shout out to CCG Player for opening all the packs and providing the information. Those dudes are awesome. And do make sure you come and check out my Whatnot stream because, look, we're going to be chatting some Pokemon. Come chat some Pokemon with me. It'll be fun. And, yeah, tell me what you think about these. Tell me if you're surprised. Tell me what your chase cards on the set are. Tell me what you've already pulled from your packs. Let me know in the comment section. Guys, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Lawasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.